Good morning, guys. We are here in Florida, and today I am going to the St. John's Town Center in Jacksonville, Florida. I think it's probably the best place to go shopping. It has a Louis, it has Tiffany's, it has Nordstrom. But it's going to be a really hot day today, so I'm dressed for walking around in hot weather. I learned my lesson when I went to Orlando. <laughs> so I have my outfit of the day. I have my Chanel necklace. I got this a couple years ago, I think. It's like a double chain necklace and then it has a longer strand in the back. It's really cute. And it's like a champagne gold. So it's a very light yellow gold to match my new bag. Ah, this is the LV Stardust on the go PM. Just unboxed it. And then I just have a top. I think this is from Nordstrom. And then these shorts are from Abercrombie. Uh, my shoes are just this iridescent slides from Superdry because they kind of go with this, right? But they're very comfortable. My toes are messed up because I've been going to the beach all day, but. So yeah, my outfit of the day. So I will be walking around a lot. It's going to be hot. I will see you at the town center. I'll do a quick what's in my bag. So here is my LV on the go PM in the Stardust. I have my vlogging camera in this little pouch. This was from the number one de Chanel beauty collection that launched, was it earlier this year or last year? And I don't have the organizer inside. I plan to get the Samorga insert for the pm size but i have my sunnies just here on the side these are my fendi my favorite fendi sunnies this is the hermes pouch that comes with their bathing suits so i keep my just everything in here so it doesn't mess up the inside of my bag i have my keys hair ties tissues chapstick lip gloss extra charger i love this charger by the way this is the uh dual bank whatever charger that has ports for every single charger <laughs> thing you need um so i keep that all in this little pouch here so that this stays nice and clean and this is like a suede finish so i don't need to keep my case which is kind of bulky i just slide the sunglasses in here and i can keep my phone there but i'm wearing sh denim shorts so i can just wear my phone in my side pocket or in my back pocket so yeah this little hermes pouch fits in this bag really nicely until i get my organizer all right, I am here. It is kind of early. It's 10 o'clock. And so Nordstrom's actually isn't even open yet. Here is Nordstrom's right here. But they have an e-bar. So I'm going to grab some coffee and have a little bit of breakfast. This is... I don't even know what this is. Oh, it's like a kid's thing. That's cute. But here's the Nordstrom, the beauty department, and it's closed right now. The little decorations. There's the e-bar. I'm going to grab some coffee. All right, I am done with coffee. It is 11 and the stores are finally open. So I'm headed to LV. Here's some more little shops, flip-flop shops, free people. There's a huge Tommy Bahama here <laughs> because we are in Florida. There's a love sack, which this would be cute furniture for like a family room, you know, kids. And here's the LV, it's right here in the corner. And here we have the store. These client advisors look like they are very high on, on high alert. So I probably will not film in here, but there is the jewelry. And we got some boots there, others over there. I wonder why they don't have more bags. Like I talked about in my video, when you have bags in the window, they discolor super fast. So we'll see. Here is the Cousin. Not a fan of this style, but some people like it. That's the beige. And then there's the white right there. Oh my God, that's so cute. That's like a little tennis ball. Oh my God, that's the ellipse. I remember that from back in the day. Here's another Cousin. That little pouch is so cute. That's super cute. And then we have this green. Yeah, I don't really like this. I don't really like the white print, but it's not for me. Oh, there's a little tennis bag up there. Let's see it. And then the looping bag. And then the little Alma. Is that an Alma? Alma BB in blue. Very pretty. the 
this vintage trunk here. Here's the luggage, LV books, more trunks, pet carrier. These are so pretty. How much was this one? It's iridescent. All the fragrances, more bags. This jewelry, scarves, all these sunnies. All right, I just got something from Tiffany's. I got some stuff from LV. Here's the line for Tommy Bahama restaurant. So these are the two fanciest stores here at Town Center. So I think I'm gonna head down here and then go to lunch soon. But this is everything that I got so far. All right, so I guess Lush is actually closed because I just tried to go in here and I should have known because Normally Lush has doors open and then you can try it out and you can usually smell Lush from like a mile away because they have bath bombs, but no bath bombs for me today. So I'm gonna go to MAC. I need some new eyeliner and I think that's it. And then lunch. Okay, false alarm. I guess Lush reopened <laughs> down here, but they should really take the sign down because how would I know? I don't know, I don't come here a lot. Okay, we're here at Lush. I love these little body scrubs and we have this Pride Month. Here's a ocean salt. Love these guys. Our new Bright and Beautiful. It's a sea scrub and then happy skin. I'm gonna buy this one. I really like this from before, Angels on Bare Skin. That's the scrub. And then here's another one. But I really like Dark Angels too. Love their soaps. This one I always get. It smells so good. Oh my gosh, so fresh. Gay is okay. <laughs> it's cute. Sleepy, karma. Sea vegetable has seaweed in it. Really cute. Rhubarb and custard. Oh, mustache. It's funny. Goddess soap. I think it's got like gold dust on it. Okay, I'm in front of Steve Madden, but this bag caught my eye. Look how cute. You guys, Steve Madden, they make some great dupes. I mean, I don't know if this is a dupe for something or if it's just inspired by, but it's a really cute chain little belt bag oh my god it's even got a little heat pouch how funny for some reason the store is closed sorry for the inconvenience we're temporarily closed but uh yeah let's do that in. okay it's hot it's time for a lunch break i just left lulu i got something really cute <laughs> and uh yeah it's pretty hot there is a Sephora here, but I'm probably not gonna go there because I have some Chanel Beauty that I ordered. So I really don't need more makeup, but we're gonna get, go and head to lunch right now. Look at this gigantic restoration hardware. I am going to go check it out right now. All right, going to see if this restoration hardware is good. There's a restaurant inside and here, let me see. The furniture. I'm, are you guys a fan of restoration hardware? I think it's okay. I think a lot of it is very overpriced, but I love the style. I'm just, let's check it out inside here. I am here at the Restoration Hardware Restaurant and it has a very pretty view of the town center. That's the damage I did this afternoon. There's my bag. And here's the menu. I think I'm going to do uh, the lobster roll. I love lobster rolls. So very excited. Okay, this is my lobster roll and it looks so good. Lemon. It comes a la carte. I didn't order anything else with it because I... We'll see how I handle this 
I'm so hungry I can order more, but look how pretty my purse is here. Oh my god, it was so good, and I guzzled the iced tea. He already gave me a refill, otherwise I would have had an empty glass here, but I, it was so hot. It was delicious. So this is the outside situation here. I just threw my bags down here, but that's the restaurant inside. And I just want to show you what it looks like out here. It is blazing hot, but at night this place is probably really nice. I think up until recently, probably the nicest restaurant <laughs> here was right there. I think that's the Cheesecake Factory. Actually, no, I think they have Capitol Grill here, but that is the view there. You can see the dicks. Whew, I just had lunch at the Restoration Hardware restaurant up there. It was so good. I had the lobster roll, and I don't know if I even properly introduced this vlog, but you know, we're here on kind of a little family trip vacation, and my husband is hanging out with his friends. He's having a lunch with them, and my Mother-in-law has the kids, so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go shopping. <laughs> I'm gonna take this time and do a little solo shopping trip. I've been taking the kids to the beach every day. It's very hot, and so I just wanted to check out the new restaurant. We're gonna head to Nordstrom. We are passing Tory Birch right now, and then kind of heading in the same direction as LV and Tiffany's. But I wanna go to Nordstrom and see if they have the Chanel Illuminating Body Oil. So we'll go see what they have. Okay, I'm heading back to Nordstrom's. And I remember when they were building this Nordstrom here. It wasn't here before. I don't remember exactly when, but yeah, I remember it was huge. And <laughs> I go to the restaurant here. It's probably the nicest of the Nordstrom cafes. But we're gonna go shopping and see what they have. Tried to get the illuminating body oil and they don't have it, but I got the bronzer. So very exciting, here it is. So my husband's here, I gotta go. Gotta cut this shopping trip short, but I'll check back in and show you what I ended up getting. Okay, bye. All right, you guys, false alarm. I thought my husband was here, but typical husband behavior. He went to Nordstrom Rack to pick me up. And I was like, which entrance do you have? Because this is a huge Nordstrom's with like three different entrances, actually four. One of them leads to the, like the strip, shopping strip. But then there's three other entrances where you can park at. And I was like, okay, which entrance are you at? He's like, how many are there? He's like, there's just one entrance. And then he's like, wait, are you what? Is Nordstrom Rack the same as Nordstrom? And I said, no, <laughs> they're totally different stores. Uh, so I've been running around and now um, he's driving here. It's not that far, but it's across the street. So I'm just gonna wait in here where it's air conditioned. And we are back home. I just could not get it together to do a proper outro, but I just wanted to show you real quick how I pack all of my goodies coming home. Again, this was a road trip. So I have the Away Large Everywhere bag here. I just flatten all the shopping bags and keep it in this little laptop compartment slot here. And then all the boxes are all wrapped up here. So I'll do a separate kind of a haul video to show you what I got from my little trip to the town center. Uh, that's the little lush bag. But yeah, I definitely recommend checking out the town center if you are in Jacksonville. I always love visiting that spot, but I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned for a haul and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.